Andrew Bird and I um, I'm a songwriter, violinist. My name is Alexis Yamarino and I'm a community artist based in East Baltimore. I'm Jim Ballinger, director of the Phoenix Art Museum. My name is Barbara Ernst Prey. I am a painter, I paint large watercolors. Uh, my name is Mike Weber and I'm a mixed media artist in Washington, D.C. To borrow from the great writer uh, down in Point P Parish, uh, Louisiana, Ernest Gaines says, you know, if you really want to study human society, you don't pick up nonfiction, you pick up fiction. And uh, if you really want to get to know the essence uh, of people, uh, fiction allows enough flexibility for us to really discuss what the characters were thinking and why they were doing what they were doing. Truly intent. So I think when we think about beauty, uh, we think about um, imagination, we can't get to these truths of the human race without really leaving enough flexibility uh, in our existence. And that would be art. And I think that's the role of artists in our society today. The artist's role in community is a role that assumes that you're part of a greater context of reality, which is beyond this self-referential idea that you create work to um, solely share with the world like what is important to you. And while this is a really important thing to own as an artist, um, I think the artist role in the community is to um, strengthen the way that you interpret your surroundings and choose to make meaning as sort of a cultural maker of of art. The activity of going to some sort of artistic event, that being an option, is uh, incredibly valuable for a community. I mean, um, sure, there's like sporting events that do that, but um, maybe they don't leave you with such a uh, much beyond the event itself, whereas I think the arts like can really change you. As an artist, I think my job is to um, inspire, provide hope, help people look at things differently, um, you know, encourage. I've been very involved in, in helping and working with many different organizations to really make the community and um, our world a better place, and I can really look back in my life and say, um, that I, I feel that I have made a difference, and that's something that's very, very exciting, and I've been able to use the gifts that I've been given. Over the last 10 years or so, uh, what we've seen is, is a tremendous burgeoning, finally, of downtown, and it's with uh, First Fridays, which is a very large coming together uh, in neighborhoods around the museum, of artists opening their studios, have started shops, uh, pop-up galleries, uh, and we've had as many as 10,000 people on, a, on an event, and at the, just at the museum alone, we open that night for free, and it, it welcomes particularly young people, young creative people, to the museum. Uh, we're averaging like over 2,000 to 2,500 people uh, each and every month. Artists living in your communities actually creates a sense of community. Um, for example, in Washington, D.C., we have a group called the Mid-City Artists. And when I first moved to Washington about nine years ago, I had a very hard time finding other artists. It was very rare, or seemed rare to me, for artists to get together and paint or draw, which should be a very normal, everyday thing. And uh, a couple of artists and I got together and started talking about building more of an artist colony. And so we don't have a centralized area where we can all hang out and paint and draw together. So we decided what we would do is open up our homes twice a year, our homes or our studios, and allow the community to go on a walking tour, come into our homes and experience the environments where we work, see the pieces that we're creating and see the process and learn how the process of creating or how it's involved in, in our lives. I think that brings people together and creates more of a community feel when you know who's living and working in your community. The first opportunity that an artist has in community is to ask people what they know and to not assume that what you have and what you know best is going to be applicable in a new setting. So that seems at the core of the artist role in the community is to really work with what exists before you show up. Um, because that's, I think if more artists would assume that their vision is a little bit less myopic, you would have this understanding that, um, I don't know, you just share, 
you share the power in this way that I think is also really important right now with young people is like sharing with young people that they have the um, the capacity to show their strengths, not necessarily in a way that someone has taught them before. We see it more uh, acutely in places like Chattanooga, or Dubuque, Iowa, you know, places that are, um, and you can see the community, like, or, or a lot of like uh, towns in New England or the Southeast, or, um, where they've saved the local theater from the wrecking ball, and like, there's much more apparent, like, um, because it's more, it's a more finite populace, and you can see it. Um, the effects of community action and everything. Um, but you, uh, and in those smaller places, there's there's a more of a, a passionate intensity about about the arts. And it, I can really, really see how it makes that community so much, the quality of life in that community so much better. So much better. Especially when you're up against strip malls and and sprawl and development and, you know, um, fluorescent lit nightmares of warehouse shopping um, that can really bleed you dry. <laughs> um, you need that, like, that human, you know, um, experience. It's more important now than, than ever. Um.